trying to find it. Find the wild for this rebel heart. I've been coming up. Oh, the 
happy Sunday. We are so glad that you're joining us this morning. We went toy shopping, and so if you want to see what's going on with our toy shopping, you're gonna have to watch Friday's Unplugged. But we found this cool game. Oh, and it's upside down. We have never played this before, so we thought it'd be fun, and maybe you guys can purchase this game, or maybe do a family night or something. So I don't know if families still do family game nights. I only know one person who does yeah. that actually. So. We do, we still do, I mean, we haven't done family game nights, but we've done movie nights. So we're gonna try and play this game. We have gone through the instructions, so you're just gonna have to bear with us and hopefully we can this play This is right. our first time playing it, so. Yes. Yeah. All right. So this is the board. They have little squares on it, mm -hmm. so it kind of matches how these look. Yep. Like that. And I just put it on top of this so you guys could see it. The one rule of locus, each new piece you play must touch at least one other piece of the same color, but only at the corners. The first piece they play must cover a corner square. So I'm gonna go first. So I'm gonna do that. I'm so confused. <laughs> okay. Do that. Sure. So what it says is that we have to connect the colors together. That's what we read, right? We have to yeah. Connect. Yeah, because they're all okay. sort of. Like that? Yeah, like okay. that. Yeah, all right. that's good. I don't think, I don't think you're gonna get any. I know. Those are pretty large pieces. I think, are you done? Yeah. yeah. Okay, but watch, look. <gasps> oh my goodness, she infiltrated green. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. I pass. All right, so you're yeah. done with them. Mm -hmm. you're, what you're saying is you're, okay, so I still have one here. I think that that's it. I don't think I can go anymore. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, and fourteen. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. So clearly, Miss Kathy still winning. Miss Kathy won <laughs> the lowest number of squares. So that would that mean like? Oh, so we count the squares. So we have to count the individual squares. Okay, let's redo that. Um, I have sixty-one. Okay. I still won. I have 60, 61, I think it was. Whatever. 61, and she had 71. Yay, Miss Kathy. We found that we should have used our bigger pieces first. Yeah. I think this would be a fun game to do at home, really gets everybody to get together. Mm -hmm. Ages seven and above, two to four players, and the play time is 30 minutes. So, hope you guys enjoyed this maybe it'll make an appearance here in hceg kids when we're all back we don't know yet um but uh we'll have it yeah we'll have it bye guys bye. have a great day See ya. hi guys our um series is screen time and today's lesson is eye protection so i'm just gonna jump right in our memory first as you know was found um ephesians 5 15 and 16. so be very careful how you live do not Live like people who aren't wise. Live like people who are wise. Make the most of every opportunity. The days are evil. Programmers have this, this um, name, it's G-I-G-O. It stands for garbage in, garbage out. Um, they know if they write a garbage code, the program will be garbage. It'll be buggy, faulty, breakdown. If the program is good, then the new app and the new web website will run smoothly. Garbage in, garbage out. That doesn't just apply to program codes behind the screen. It applies to things that we view on screen. I don't have to tell you that for all the good you can find on screen, there's a lot of bad. Foul language and all kinds of sin you can find online, right? Sometimes you find it on purpose, sometimes you find it on accident. Sometimes you might type one thing in and it bring up something else that has a whole different meaning. Jesus taught us 
that the eyes are the lamp of the body. If we fill our eyes with goodness and light, we'll produce goodness and light. No one can serve two masters. Jesus is telling us we must make the choice to follow him or follow the world. If we follow the world, we can expect our minds and our mouths and our actions to produce garbage as well. Jesus urges us to seek things that are good and holy. If we fill our minds with the gospel, with songs of praise, and with beauty of the creation, then God can bring goodness and beauty into the world through us. The things we view on our screens matter. Every time we pick up our screen, we should ask ourselves, is this something I need to see? Last week, we talked about idols, how no one sets out to make an idol. It happens gradually over time. You realize you've traded worshiping God for worshiping something else. And we don't want to do that. We don't want to fall into that trap. The same thing can easily happen to us with the things we see online. Suddenly, we're not seeking family-friendly content anymore. Our minds are full of sin, and we want, we want to see more. The more negative and sinful things that you put in your mind, the more your mind starts to desire that. And that's not what we want to do. We can turn our screens off. We never, never do you have to watch bad things online because we always have control. We can close the window, we can turn off the internet, we can turn off the power, we can put the phone down, walk away. Focus your mind on God and all his goodness. Our God is forgiving. When we mess up, it's never too late to turn back and focus our mind on the things of God and the things that are good. This week, I want you to be mindful of what you do on your screens. Ask yourself, if Jesus was with me, would I still watch this? Remember, he is with you and he sees everything you do and he knows everything you do. So let's take control of what our eyes see on screen and off. Let's fill our minds with God's goodness so that we can be the light of the world. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I just thank you for Cultivate. God, I thank you for each and every person seeing this, God. God, I ask you to help us protect our eyes and help us to only desire to see the things that are of you, to see the things that will benefit and edify our souls. God, we thank you for who and what you are in our lives, and we just ask you to continue to help us grow in you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. As always, guys, keep me in your prayers because you're always in mine.